last time you're gonna see this this view. The last time this garage will open to reveal this car. Uh, yep. Will not be enjoying this interior anymore. Ah, I just forget we have the cold start off. What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video on the Car Noob channel. We have an insanely exciting video ahead today. We're getting a new car. I am driving my 340i out of the garage for the very last time. Wasn't sure if it was going to sell easily um, because it's still a used car. And um, I mean, I have tuned it and stuff. It's no secret. And yeah, I just, I know that these are rare in the Estoril Blue. Uh, these are rare in the manual X drive. So this car is in absolutely fantastic condition so yeah i put it up for sale on beamer post and i put it up for sale on facebook marketplace which is usually the the toxic wasteland but um i actually got a couple low balls a couple scam attempts and then a person that was really interested in buying this car knew what it was knew what what he was looking at there was not a lot of back and forth really negotiating wise um and yeah he offered an amount and i was happy to agree and so have sold the 340 got the got the car out going to just do the last checks make sure that everything is everything is there um and yeah we're gonna go sign some paperwork let the buyer have the new car and then gonna take you guys along to pick up my dream car with me what an exciting day sat in the new car I will tell you that I just I can't I can't really I can't find words about just this whole thing like I I'm just you know cruising over here and taking it in and, and enjoying you know enjoying the 6wb enjoying this manual enjoying just the the, the, the scenery the view um, yeah so anyway that's all Six and a half hours later. They should have put a bow on it. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> it's unbelievable.
to say. This is just overwhelming. And here we are driving in our new car behind our old car. The new owner is loving it. Yeah, what a weird, what a weird moment. I've never like I've never sold a car and then like watched someone drive it. It's such a such a strange such a strange thing. But it seems like a good kid and he will love he will love that car. She stays responsible. guys and we are now in my new car my dream car the 2019 BMW M5 competition I still I still can't believe that this is this is reality I, I, I expected that I would wake up so many times by now and uh, it's all it's all real the 340 sold the we have taken you know ownership of the M5 just beyond words how what this car is like it's just beyond words i don't even know uh where to begin uh let me tell you a little bit about the car it is in the black sapphire metallic on the exterior the interior as you can see is this brown uh it's actually called tartufo and tar tartufo merino merino leather the base m5 has a 600 horsepower at the time it was the fastest production sedan ever made then the uh, competition came out and I think it was 617 horsepower. The previous owner got the Dynan Stage 2 tune. Now, I've looked on Dynan's website and I didn't see a Dynan Stage 2 tune. I, I saw a Dynan Tronic Stage 2 tune, uh, but I actually just don't have a lot of information uh, on this. But um, <laughs> it just every so often I, I drive and then I, like, I hear the V8 and I just like come to realize what car I'm driving. <laughs> I just like start giggling like a kid. Now, if you look at the sport displays, you can see that uh, the numbers go higher than they normally would. 
Um, it says goes to 880 horsepower, 720 uh, pound feet of torque, and it goes all the way. Like if I, like that is very, very, very powerful. Oh my god. Um, so according to this, about 800 to the crank. Seven, probably about 720 to the wheels. It's hard to, uh, it's hard to know for sure. I probably will dyno it at some point. The car is very uh, loud, as you can see. It, as you can hear, fans are blowing hardcore. This always happens for like 10 to 15 minutes or so. Even if I've been idling, it always does that. But like I was saying, this car is on black sapphire metallic. It is not very easy to see the blue tint. There's just like a very, very small, very small uh, hint of blue in the color. We are on 706M wheels and regular M Sport brakes. These are not the M carbon ceramics, thankfully, because those would cost like $9,000 per axle to replace. We have these carbon fiber flutters. The car also has this carbon fiber rear diffuser, which has been installed by the factory as well. It is in the spec sheet. Uh, we luckily ha don't have the chrome tips. These are, uh, they look a little bit chrome, but these are actually considered black, black tips. Um, in the future, I will be replacing these with some carbon fiber, that's for sure. Another thing that's factory is this spoiler lip or lip spoiler, whatever you want to call it. It looks actually really good. As, as you can see by the badge, we do have the competition badge, which means that the car is a little bit, a little bit faster. It has been lowered a little bit as well from the factory with the M, M performance suspension. As you can see, there's not a lot of wheel, wheel gap over here, which I'm a big fan of because I won't have to lower the car. Okay, so in the interior, we have this beautiful Tertufo Brown interior. It looks absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I think the interior looks absolutely, absolutely stunning. In the back here we have also these cool sunshades, aka peasant blockers, which is really neat. Of course, as part of the competition package, the carbon fiber room is standard. So we don't get to have a sunroof or a moonroof or anything like that. We have illuminated door sills that say M5. The M5 in the seats also illuminates. And here we have the, the V8. We already have some carbon fiber accents here just because of the competition package. The presents we got from BMW dealership where I bought the car. Now that I now that I actually belong. As an M owner, I get to wear the M hat.
what else to say other than I still cannot believe that this is real and, and, and you know for, for the millionth time already I cannot wait to personalize this car a little bit more to put some mods on it to you know just enjoy this car like for the way that it was meant to be enjoyed take it for some autocross for some track days um, man yeah, just all, all sorts of things I cannot wait so with that said we're gonna go ahead and end this video here you guys um, thank you so much for watching thank you for your continued support and thank you for all of you guys that that, that click on these videos and watch them and, and, and comment and come back and you all of you that you've subscribed and all of you that you are about that are about to subscribe because this is your dream car as well and you want to see some videos on it so anyway I'm gonna stop blabbering now and yeah we're gonna end the video here guys please like share and subscribe and I cannot wait to show you more m5 content peace